Hey everybody, I'm Mike the Zorch, and this is um, test. Now everything's not set up yet. The new the new machine for recording and streaming and everything is not built yet, and the set's not done yet. We are just doing a lighting test. We got the green screen up as you can, as you can see, and we've got our lighting all set up. We've got uh, two lights here, two lights here. And we got the lights with diffusers here in the front, so they can light me pretty good. We got the microphone arm over here, though I don't have my microphone out here yet because yeah, I get the I'd have to discombobulate everything to get that out of there. And we got the capture card hooked up. We got my laptop out here, uh, recording Foxy. all this and everything. Foxy, so, Foxy, sorry, <laughs> it's the cat, but. We're getting stuff done. This is sort of a progress report and also a test to make sure that this is working. The whole chroma key thing. Because let me turn that off. Let me uh, make an image go away and then you see it. it's just black behind me. And I'll turn it back on. And it's black behind me because I'm using the chroma key in OBS. And what that does is that basically turns this into a blank space for me to put anything in, in back here. I could put a video back here if I wanted to. I could put gameplay back here. Uh, when, at, when we get the new machine going, I'll be able to put gameplay back here and I'll be able to put myself... Um, how would we do that? We'll be able to put myself in the back. I would I put myself in the corner is what I would do. Yeah, I would put myself in a corner. Actually, do we want to show them what the whole thing looks like right now? Because we had that other time last video. Because I can grab the camera and move it back. Um, you want to show what the rest of it looks like? A little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the camera. This is Tiger, okay. by the way. Yep. And uh, unplug the capture. No, no, you need it plugged in still. I mean, yeah. That's it. Don't, don't unplug it. I'm just I'm being very careful. Because I'm connect. I'm messing with a live camera. So I'm sitting here. But, like, the here's the... Here's the kind of a panorama yeah. so here's the outside cat spots here's our lighting and everything here's the desk we got two monitors we're gonna have and then um yeah it's it's a mess right now oh, yeah. i'm kind of standing right next to this one i've got it zoomed all the way out too this is basically taken over. but we've got this sort of just jangled up there mm -hmm. oh that's because okay but um anyway i'm gonna put this back on the mount this is an old Sony Handycam, it's like 20 years old. <laughs> Push that out here. Okay, is it this back, one, are you back centered? This is gonna, this is gonna be, from how tight this is, this thing is, it's gonna hold that heavy, um, it's gonna hold that, that heavy, um, Yeti, that blue Yeti mic. It's definitely gonna handle it. But do, uh, I was going to release a Chloe cast to give an update, but I guess this episode will just, this episode will be that. Uh, as I said, the machine that we're going to use for streaming and everything, that's not built yet. Once everything else has been taken care of. We need an LED up here. Build it. So that way you know where to look, because you're kind of looking all over the place. Yeah. We need to put all, something that we just, can see. From the light, from the glare of the lights, I can just see the. And the only reason you can see that is because that's on. It disappears. Well, I can see the silver circle. That way we have a place to focus. We need a small LED up here so we can see where to look. Yeah. It's, it's faded into all this light, and we just, we're just blinded by it. Yeah, I was looking down at the screen here. Mm -hmm. Which. Yeah, you're not there anymore. <laughs> no. Current, still using the old machine. Right well, we got your now. laptop just jigger rigged up in here. Yeah. Um, the other machine's going to be a lot more powerful. Yeah, a whole lot more powerful. This is going to be a whole lot different when we get that up there. Yes. There's a lot of production quality stuff that's going to go into that. Mm -hmm. But we're just, at the moment, we're just getting the lighting and um, just to see how everything's going to fit together. Kind of a yeah. testing phase. So there won't be any videos using this, except for this one. There won't be any videos using this except for this one. Uh, for give me a week, couple, for a week or two. <laughs> give me a week or two, because I got uh, a lot of work on that machine to do. Once that happens, there will be new videos coming out that will be using this. 
Yeah, they'll and all be using it after that. Using my mic on this new arm, everything, and this new in this new set we've set up. And also, a few changes to the channel. One thing I've always wanted this channel to be for was be everything geeky. It wasn't supposed to be just about games. I mean, I have a show about anime. I have a podcast that I do about fan fiction that I write. I have a Chloe the Professor, which I haven't done in a while. I may go back and start doing that again. Uh, that is a gaming-centric thing, but it was meant to be a thing that just showed that used discussion about gaming to also educate educate about other things. Edumacate? Edu edumacate. Edumacate. Yeah, you got other, some edumacation going. About other things. And I've been doing a lot of the gameplay videos over on Gamers Bay. All the retro gaming stuff, which we need to pick up the Atari stuff again. And I've got an old gamer plays there. Old, an old gamer plays next which is for newer games. No game replays is for retro stuff. Yeah, no, I'm going to use this stuff for... Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to be doing No Man's Sky next. I'm going to be doing that from here, too. Oh, yes. I'm definitely. definitely going to be doing No Man's Sky next. If I could, it would be nice to get another capture card in case I wanted to do any... Um, any game captures in my room, but... I can do it from here on the new machine. But well, this fine. is all built in here, so... Yeah. But uh, my my personal rig, that's going to be geared back to being just my personal rig again. So I won't have to use that for, the video, for video editing, anything after all this is done and finished. And You're going to have Adobe up. available, because we have the Adobe Cloud... Uh, applications those will be available so the quality Adobe, will be able to the, uh, Adobe. the Adobe the Adobe I can't talk today the Adobe Creative Cloud is that what yeah. you have yeah we have that yeah so we'll have Premiere and also After, After Effects, Effects Ado um, Audition I and I have no that. idea how to use any of that Adobe I just barely did. knew how to use um, the software I was using well, guess what? You're going to get an education now because that <laughs> stuff's complicated. It takes a bit to master it. There's a lot to it. It's it's janky sometimes, but it it. Uh... Oh, that's if there's what. After watching Linus Tech Tips for like a couple of years, if there's one thing I've learned, it is that Adobe is that Adobe Premiere is janky as heck. Mm-hmm. I mean, I I they I've seen behind the scenes videos from them. Where they are constantly complaining that they they had this whole sheet, this this whole sheet that with multiple pages, this whole thing with multiple pages of issues with that they've had with Adobe Premiere, mm -hmm. and that have never been fixed in all the updates that have. Been nope, they've been doing great on the UI, trashing it while the rest of it's been going to crap. But we're gonna use it anyway. Cause, well, here we go. Yeah. Well, at least they didn't trash it as bad as Apple trash. Oh, Apple just uh, Apple took that out the backyard and just hit it with the software. A yeah. Apple took it out back and shot it. I mean, I, I, there's there's probably a reason why a lot of people were going over to Sony Vegas. That's another one, but I don't have it. I don't have it though. Yeah, there is a version on Steam, but I don't think it's a. It's a nothing on Steam is that advanced. Version. It's all simple stuff. Yeah. So. We got this up, this working. Uh, some of the, basically the aim of the channel may change a little bit. There will still be some game, there will still be gaming stuff here. But it won't be all gaming centric. It will be more geek culture centric. You'll see geek variety show. Geek variety stuff. You'll see a lot more of that on here. And also... Uh, you'll see a lot more gameplay videos on Gamers Bay. A lot more live streams, a lot more videos of retro games and more modern games. I just recently picked up Divinity Original Sin 2. Yeah, I'm the only one who didn't have it yet. I, I gotta get of, it now. I splurged for it. It was 44 bucks. I was still, I was waiting for it to go on sale, and it still hasn't gone on sale. Guess what? It'll be on sale tomorrow. <laughs> that works. Get a refund and then go back and get it. <laughs> It'll 
be on sale tomorrow. That's how that works. Yes. Also, uh, a couple of uh, several things that's going to be going on in the future. I'm going to talk about this now. Is that uh, me and Tigra? We are going to be watching the press conferences for E3 this year. Yeah, this stuff won't be ready by then. Yeah. We definitely won't be ready. So we'll be back in my room and on my crappy webcam just talking about all the stuff that we saw. We're going to watch the, uh, the the first one coming up is Electronic Arts. We're going to be watching whatever they're coming up with. You know, we're not too enthused about Electronic Arts, but hey. They're not my friend. <laughs> and I'm not their friend. If there's one thing you have to be, you have to be... Um, even though I don't like them, I have to at least, you know, for journalistic, gaming journalistic integrity, I've got to at least treat them treat fairly. Them fairly. Uh, good, because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since they killed Spore, I've never forgiven them. I'll call them names behind their back, but when I'm... Doing <laughs> And then after that, um, that that is on that is on the ninth. Then on the tenth is one for Microsoft and Bethesda. I want, we want to see both of those. Oh because yeah. Because the Microsoft one, we may be seeing stuff from No Man's Sky no next Man's Sky. on there. The No Man's Sky version. Of Maybe the we Xbox don't know yet. Version of no Man's we don't Sky. know if they're going to be there. We don't know if it's going to be there. There is a countdown going on. Oh, yeah. To E3 involved with the, the, ARG. Um, wake, the Waking Titan ARG. And Waking Titan is directly tied into No Man's Sky. Yeah, it is directly tied. I've, I've discovered that, that it really is part of it. It is the background lore. I want to make game. a video on that. Yeah. The ARG is the lore, background lore of the game that explains that it is a... Um, that explains that the game itself, the game environment, is a simulation. And the it's ARG the tells the story of how that simulation... The outside world created. of that matrix. Yeah. And also, uh, Bethesda's E3 conference. I want to see that. Yeah, because cause there might be something very interesting there. Fallout 76. I think aren't they gonna that new space simulation that thing that they were supposed to be working? Isn't that well, they've to... got Starfield. Yeah. Plus, they just dropped a teaser trailer for Fallout seventy six. Okay. And there's been a lot of leaks about that one about saying that maybe that it. Yeah, that's that been leaking like be, a screen door in a submarine. <laughs> that it's gonna be multiplayer. It's still gonna be an RPG. It may be a co-op RPG. It's possible. People have been people. Freaked out thinking it was going to be a Battle Royale Fallout game or it was going to be a Rust clone or a Daisy clone or something like that. And I'm thinking, I don't think it will be. I think it's going to be more a co op RPG. And there will be um, city, there will be colony building, not colony, but uh, settlement building, like in Fallout 4, probably more fleshed out. Uh, it's they it could they could go in any direction it, because the lore in the game is that Vault seventy six was one of the test was one of the um, what do they call it when they do it when they do a test and when they're doing a scientific test they'll have one sample that they don't do anything to that's your control the control set yeah it was there it was one of the control vaults. Where they didn't do any of the, where Vault Tech didn't do any of their funky um, experiments, underhanded there. shenanigans. Yeah, and the whole thing with them is that twenty years after the bombs fell, they were supposed to open the vault, go out, and start rebuilding. And so the game is set twenty years after the bombs fell, and it's in West Virginia. So because the trailer had the whole. Um, John Denver song, you know, Country Road. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Playing. So we're going to find out what's going to happen with that. Uh, let's see. So there's Microsoft. There is Bethesda. Who else is that day? I don't know the schedule. I posted it in the Gamers Bay community. 
So if you're a member of Gamers Bay, you can go to the go into the community and check out the schedule because I posted it there and also announced that we're going to be doing the the like the live streams after all the conferences are to basically talk about our impressions of them and what we think about what we yeah. saw and everything. But in the Gamers Bay in the Gamers Bay community and Google Plus, you will find the schedule there. So I think after Microsoft, I I don't think it's Sony next. I think it may be Devolver Digital. That I don't know. Be, I've not seen any of it. So that one's gonna be weird. Devolver Digital is one of those really strange eccentric indie developers, and they had a really really like. Totally, what the WTF <laughs> presentation <laughs> last year? <laughs> so, uh, so it's gonna be interesting to say the least. Um, I think that's the point. I th one of the days is supposed to be the PC Gaming Show. PC Gaming Magazine does their does a show, and they bring on a whole bunch of PC game. Um, new PC games that are coming. Uh, Nintendo is supposed to be doing their presentation. I think they're doing another digital presentation. I don't, I don't think they're actually going to... No, no, they are going to be there. They are going to be there. I think their thing this year is going to focus on Splatoon. I think. Last year they focused their E3 thing on uh, Legend of Zelda. Is it Nintendo? Yeah, Nintendo. They focus their Nintendo's thing on got like Zelda. four games that they just repeat forever and ever and ever and ever until the end of time. Well, they're 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 they trying just, to diversify. They're they just added to... Nintendo. They just added Splatoon to that list, but it's been like the same four or five well, games forever. They have a few new things. They have Splatoon. They have Arms. It's a new. Uh, it's a, a fighting game that they. Th that's the other thing is we have the hardware here. I'm hoping it'll work that we can actually maybe at some point set up some of the other console games consoles on here, and be yes. able to capture and record and play console games on yeah. here. I'm hoping to be able to add that. It's not part of the current plan, but there's hardware here to help out with that. Now the only one we won't be able to do is we won't be able to do the Wii U or the Switch or and Switch. all that. That's good. Nintendo's real kind yeah, of. You, well, you know Nintendo's what. Nintendo's being a bitch, so... Okay. <laughs> You're going to be straight up that. That's fine. Just, that's good for your channel. That's good for me, too. Honesty! Yeah, hey, that works for me. But we can do... We'll be able to, once everything's all set up in here, we'll be able to do PS4 and Xbox One. Yeah. And we might... Not anytime soon, but we might in the future get uh, PS4 Pro... And Xbox One X. Yeah, I'd like to have those available in here to do. Because we've got room back here yeah. on the edge of this desk to put stuff. So uh, We won't be able to do 4K. No, but we don't. It's going to be, we'll be a while before we get the 4K. But the extra horsepower will definitely be. Yeah, the machine itself should have enough horsepower to do it. But we don't have the camera equipment yet or the monitors. Yeah. And so that's where that's going to get kind of pricey. So... Right now, we're going to be kind of capped out at 1080p for a while. Now, these screens that we're using, these don't have um, speakers in them, do they? I or honestly don't do know. <laughs> I Honest, don't know. You honestly don't know. Uh, in theory, they do, because they have a volume button on them, but I've never actually heard them put out anything, so... Hmm. There's a volume, there are volume buttons on them, so I'm assuming there's something there somewhere, but considering that these are cheapos, mm, yeah. You the thing is, on my end, I'd have to be wearing headphones. Yeah, we're going to have to figure out the headphone thing, because I've got a different set than you do, and we're going to have to figure out how we want to manage all that. We do have that software that I was, that software I was using, that allows me to route um, audio to two different sources, plus... Plus they Windows, also Windows is going to be updated the latest, so there's going to be some Windows features that will help out with that that they added to Windows 10 yeah. for multiple audio sources. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a big assist, too. Yeah, that's, that's going to be definitely... Windows better. is actually going to be useful for me once, maybe? <laughs> that's freaky. <laughs> I'm sure they've copied it from somebody, but at least it was a good feature they copied. I don't know, I haven't used it yet. Yeah. 
So we're going to be doing the live streams, live streams after the conferences at E3, and be covering a lot more uh, stuff on gaming news and everything. That will be over on the Gamers Bay channel, where you see a lot of the gaming news stuff that I will be posting here. Uh, I may do if you watched Linus Tech Tips or the channel that they came from, NCIX, um, then I might also do a geek, geeky news. Let thing. me ask a question North for Korean. you. Since yeah. you're, since I'm, I'm just, this is literally live, me and I was kind of discussing this, so, or at least not live, yeah. but in the recording. Recorded. Um, in terms of me building that machine, and yeah. since, your, since your channel, you're talking about it not being everything games, do we want to bother with the build on that or not? I mean, build build things are all the common pretty time, but I mean, common all the time. But do we want to bother with that? I'd say probably not because okay. that's fine. That particular that particular subject is sort of overkill. Overkill. I mean, there are literally hundreds of channels. I didn't know if for your yeah. channel if you wanted that for our stuff. Yeah, there's there. I I. I I'm not against the idea of doing something like that, of doing tech stuff, but there are so many other channels that are doing it. It's so just, yeah, well, what I was just thinking better. of is just a video for us for our stuff, and yeah. that's it. It's not like we're trying to put anything new out. It's just, I didn't know if it'd be interesting or not. Yeah, because you got, you've got Paul's Time lapse. Hard. Do the time lapse one. Yeah. I might, I might do I that. Mean, you got Paul's hardware. You've got Bitwit. You've got Linus Tech Tips. You've got Jay's Two Cents. I mean, because <laughs> this is the only difference is this is a modern machine. I mean, this, this got the this is a Threadripper. Well, how do you, <laughs> the, the, the stuff that they mess with on t on, I, on Tech Tips? Oh, well, they they go nuts. I'm not trying they to compete. Go completely I'm not trying to compete with, with anybody. I, that's pointless. Oh, we're we're, camera, we're so outclassed. It's not even funny. I don't even care camera, about that. Camera. Up. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight with that. We're gonna have to replace that camera. At some that point. camera's gotta go. Yeah, cause as you can see, we can't put this camera in a mode that will let us. Not by having it record. You know, basically display what the camera's seeing without it without freaking, it out. freaking out. We have it's to put it's it on the it's on the hit list. Yeah, we have to actually set it to record in order yeah, to keep it from doing keep that it from messing up. It's and it's on the to do list of things to get. It's just this has been so expensive. Yeah. That. Um, I mean, we've been spending a lot of money that we don't have. <laughs> yeah. We've been spending a lot off. of money on this. So. Actually, the machine went over budget. Yeah, by a lot. By a lot, and that's we. Your guys are. Like going broke trying to replace that money. Yeah, we're we're kind of scrambling trying to put all that back in there. Because a lot of that went into the house fund for other stuff, mm -hmm. for new appliances and also money for emergencies. The stove is next, because you know, we don't have any we don't have any emergency fund money. Well, there's a little bit in there, but the it's, big thing is the stove is next. Stove we got is crappy. Yeah, Dave's been Dave's been kind of hopping up and down about that stove for ages now. So well, that's because every other meal it burns. Burns. <laughs> so. All right, so that's basically what's going on. We've been doing this uh, green screen test, and you know what? It's been looking at it, holding up. It's actually working. I had to change my shirt. Yeah, he tried to. He can't wear his um, gamer's bait, or there's not gamer bait, but um, my yellow. His yellow shirt, because basically he's just a head bobbing in space. It's too green. It's too green. Yeah. He's too green. All we need to do is I need to get a actual Gamers Bay shirt. Yeah, you should get one. Just we've can't be got green. a store. The Gamers Bay Gamers Bay has a store. Yeah, you should get one of those shirts. But we have to get new um, imagery because we have to. They have to change some of the um, artwork. Mm -hmm. Can't can't put the green on it though. Uh, you'd be green. You'll be see through. Yeah, I'd have to talk to Daniel about that. About yeah. Not having green in it. Yeah, don't put any green in it. But um, yeah, some some of that new art. Black, white, whatever else, yellow. But no, actually, yellow is not. Even yellow is probably not a good idea because your other shirt was yellow, but these lights I think are tinting it enough that it's tripping it. 
Yeah, these are not LED. These are not LEDs. These are. Yeah, I want to replace this stuff too. These are. Um, com these are compact fluorescent. Yeah, these got it. These I would like. To, I want to get some um, better paneling or the uh, those light panels. Yeah. That they have those LED panels. I want to replace these with those because these are huge. Wow. Something that can do this a little bit better because I these are these are not our friend. <laughs> They're big. I forget his name. The guy that does unbox therapy. He has a table similar to this. It's white, and he's literally surrounded by these light panels. He's got like two light panels up here, and then two in the side, and he's got two cameras. Yeah. And records with. Now he doesn't have green screen though. He doesn't have a green screen. Yeah. All right. So. That is uh, what's going on with the channel. A few little things are going to change in the channel. Not a whole lot, but uh, once, but once we get everything working here, we're going to ramp up video production. And on Gamers Bay, there's going to be more gameplay videos and other things like that. You can probably hear them talk in the background. So. I have been Mike DeZorch, and that's been Tigra. Yo! So, uh, and you've heard the cats running around. Meow. And you heard Dave. Yeah, Dave's around. prowling. Dave's prowling. He's, uh, he was in some of our videos on Discord. And we were doing streams for Elite Dangerous. And, nope, nope, not Elite Dangerous. He wasn't in Elite Dangerous. He wasn't in Elite he Dangerous. Was in he was in, um... Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah, he was there. I want to get back into that, but I need to get to Somerset. Yeah. And that's just more money. Yeah. And I have to send $100 to my daughter for her graduation. So, as a graduation gift. So, I've been Mike DeZorch. TigerCon. Thanks for watching. All right.